students and welcome to my channel maths app so today in this video i will be telling you about the composite functions right so let us first understand what are composite functions now you might have come across certain functions which are linked as uh, it might be given that z is a function of x and y and further it will be given that x is a function of say t and y is another function of right so in this case we can say that z was dependent on two variables x and y and x and y are further dependent on the variable t so can we say that z is also dependent on t right so we can just take an example if i say that z is equal to x squared plus y squared and then if i write x is equal to 2t and if i tell you that y is equal to 3t squared right so in this case what can you do you can substitute the values of x and y here so we will get 2t whole squared plus 3t squared whole squared right so that is 4t squared plus 9t raised to power done so these type of functions when z has a link between another variable and that variable again has a link with another variable then the first function the first variable is dependent on the last variable right so in that case z will be called a composite function of t right so here you can see that z is just a composite function of a single variable t it can happen that x is also depending on two more variables y is also depending on two more variables so in that case the number of variables will keep on increasing right so let's take another example and see so here you can see that u is a function of x y z so let me draw a tree diagram that makes it very simple u is a function of x y and z and then x is a function of s and t so x is a function of s and t y is a function of s and t and z is a function of s and t right so here you can see that u then automatically becomes a function of s and t via the intermediate variables x y z so we can say that u is a composite function of s and t right so with the help of the intermediate variables if you can frame that the first function is dependent on these variables then we say that it is a composite function right it's a composite function of s and t done so now let's see how the concept of partial derivatives come in with composite functions right so let us take the same example so we have f a function of x y and z and let us take that x is dependent on s and t y is dependent on s and t z is dependent on s and t right so we can see that f is dependent on s and t finally right but there is an intermediate network and that network is through the variables x y and z right so in this case when f is a composite function of s and t we can always define the partial derivative of f with respect to s and the partial derivative of f with respect to tau so when we are taking the derivative of f with respect to s right so you can see that how the variable s is connected to it one s is connected through s x sorry one s is connected through y and the other s is connected through z right so with the help of chain rule successive chain rules will connect the partial derivative of f with respect to s how we will take the derivative of f with respect to x first then the derivative of x with respect to s then we'll take the derivative of f with respect to y and then y with respect to s then derivative of f with respect to z and then z with respect to s right similarly if i have to take the derivative of f with respect to t now just mark out where we have t right so these are the three channels from where we are getting t so take the derivative of f with respect to x and then x with respect to t then f with respect to y y with respect to t so you will just take check these terms 
and then finally f with respect to z and z with respect to t right so any question you get in composite functions if you want to write it correctly first of all draw the free diagram free diagram will help you to locate the variables and then you can easily write down the formulas without marking them right so now based on these partial derivatives and composite functions let us work out these examples you have to calculate curl u by curl r and curl u by curl s when u is given to you as x square minus y square x is 2r minus 3s plus 4 and y is minus r plus 8s minus 5 right so let us try to draw the tree diagram so u is dependent on x and y x is dependent on r and s and y is dependent on r and s right so first of all we need to calculate curl u by curl r right <coughs> so what is curl u by curl r curl u by curl r will be check where r you are getting so it is curl u by curl x into curl x by curl r plus curl u by curl y into curl y by curl r right so what is curl u by curl x you can check it is easily 2x what is curl x by curl r it is 2 plus curl u by curl y is minus 2y curl y by curl r it is minus 1 so it is 4x plus 2y and then finally since it is curl u by curl r you can substitute x and r x and y sorry and that will give you the answer right and on a similar way you can calculate curl u by curl s right so i'll just show you the working so curl u by curl s according to this tree diagram will be curl u by curl x into curl x by curl s then plus curl u by curl y into curl y by curl s and again when you put down the derivatives you'll get your answer as minus 6x minus 16 right okay so let's try out another problem so if b is 5 of f of 2x minus 3y 3y minus 4z 4z minus 2x we have to prove this result right so here you can assume that let us take this as capital x this as capital y and 4z minus 2x equal to capital B, right? So let's assume x as 2x minus 3y, y as 3y minus 4z, and capital Z is equal to 4z minus 2x, right? So you can very well see that the function B is dependent on capital X, capital Y, and capital Z. And on which factors are x dependent on? x is depending on small x and small y. y is dependent on small y and small z. And z is dependent on, so let me write small z by this symbol so that you don't get confused, z and x, right? So the first step is to calculate vx. So what is vx? x just mark where you are getting x, right? So Vx is basically del V by del X into del X by del small x plus curl V by curl Z into curl Z by curl X, right? So can we calculate curl V by curl X? No. So let's leave it as it is, curl V by curl X multiplied by, what is curl capital X by small x? So it is 2 plus curl v by curl z into what is curl z by curl x z is 4z minus 2x so curl z by curl x would be minus 2 right okay likewise calculate v y what is v y v y would be wherever you are having x we will just write it like this now let's see where are, am i getting y right so it is curl v by curl x into curl x by curl y plus 
curl v by curl y into curl y by curl small y. Right, so how much is this? Again, curl v by curl x will be kept as it is. What is curl x by curl y? It is minus 3 plus curl v by curl y. What is y with respect to y? It is 3, right? And similarly, what is vz? vz is, now check where are we getting z? These are the two cases. So del v by del y into del y by del z plus del v by del z into del z by del small z, right? So del v by del y will come as it is. Del y by del z, that is minus 4. So I can just mark this as also small, right? Okay. And then we have del v by del z into del z by del z would be 4. Okay. So mark these equations as 1, 2 and 3. Now according to the equation, multiply 1 with 6, multiply 2 with 4 and multiply 3 with and just add. When you will add, you will find that all the coefficients will get cancelled and it will become 0. Right? So, I am not doing the last step. So, I have just kept the last step for you to complete it. And then you will finally get the result. Right? So, all the terms will get cancelled and you will get the answer equal to 0. Right? So, on similar lines, just practice these questions. If v is u square v into and u is e to the power x square minus y square and v is sin x y square, you need to find del v by del x and del v by del y, right? Answers I have already provided here, so check your answers. This is the next question that you need to find out, right? Answer I have again given. And another practice question, right? So try that. Okay. And try this also. Right? Okay. So try these problems and let me know. If there is any doubt in the comment section, do write to me. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos. And believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.